So this year's Jitex, as most years, is absolutely packed. There's uh, a bunch of different companies here, uh, governments, uh, entities, a whole range of different things that are being announced today and showcased. Lots to see here. These are really cool. So every year you see them around Jitex and these are the interactive robots. Hello. So let's see if, I don't know, I want to shake your hand. Let's do handshake. Whoa, we got a handshake in there. That's pretty cool, thank you. Right guys, so one of the main reasons that I'm here at Jitex this year is to check out something related to Abu Dhabi. Now, there's a company called Aspire and they are launching the Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League. Sounds interesting. And is it really autonomous? Let's find out. Okay, so in and amongst all the really cool booths is this. This is the Advanced Technical Research Council and they've got an entire booth here devoted to all of the stuff that they are working on. Before I show you the race car, and the unveiling, check this out. This has to be such a weird but really cool kind of visual representation of AI. If AI had a face, it would look something like this. Imagine a world where speed, precision, and AI unite. So this is it, this is the car behind me. Now this is the Super Formula Dallara car that all of the 10 teams will have. And the whole idea here is, as you can see, there is no space for a driver, absolutely no driver. Rather, the main kind of factor that will win the race for the different teams is gonna be based on the software and how the teams work with the software for speed and also for maneuverability. So what's really interesting about this whole project is the fact that it's not just about racing. The whole kind of concept, the whole idea is to try and push the whole technology around autonomous driving further. So the fact that these cars are placed with 10 different teams and the fact that they have no drivers in them completely differentiates them from a lot of the other racing that's out there. So as I mentioned earlier on, the main focus here is how can they work with the software, with the AI element, to essentially win for their team. Um, there's a $2.25 million prize pool, that's quite a lot, and the fact that this is really designed to not only push this new league as essentially a new form of entertainment, but it's the information that they're gonna garner from all the testing and all this experience is going to really fast forward the autonomous growth or the knowledge base for autonomous driving for hopefully everyone. For me, it feels like um, a very out of the box way of thinking in order to kind of achieve the goal of entertainment at the same time, you know, benefit the whole autonomous automotive area. So it'll be interesting to see. What is even better for me is, as most of you know, I'm actually based in Abu Dhabi, not too far from the Yas Marina circuit, which is where the first race will take place hopefully early next year. So the idea is that once they've launched the racing cars they're gonna move on to buggy racing which will be coming later on and then after that very interesting they're gonna focus on drones as well. The whole stand is really really cool but I think one of my favorite parts is this whole AI face obviously after that incredible racing car anyway guys that's it from me for now let me know your thoughts in the comments down below would you be interested in seeing more from this new league autonomous racing league and if you've enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit like and i'll see you in the next video over here m kwan from the busy jitex over and out